Hey Jay, my friend, how are you? Thank you for coming in. Thank you, thank you. Where are you guys coming from? Catherine Store in here, and I spoke about style and confidence. And I have six awesome hacks for you tonight. Hey sis, how are you? Hey Jay Momo, cool name, thank you for coming in. We are gonna get started very soon. Six hacks to stepping out in style like a boss. Oh, thank you, honey. Thank you so much. Yep, I'm gonna be on in a minute. Just wanna make sure that you guys can see what the scope is about. And if you know of anyone, okay, awesome. If you know of anyone that needs to know or wants to know how to step out in style, swipe right, swipe up and share with your friends. And we're gonna get started in a minute. Again, my name is Catherine Storing, and I spoke about style and confidence. So come on in. We're gonna get started any minute now. Thank you so much for coming in. And I'm just gonna switch this over now. Hello. Sorry for the fingers. <laughs> How are you? Thank you, thank you for coming in. Like I said, my name is Catherine. And I style, I scope about style and confidence. Found this awesome music and I can't can't stop listening to it. I love it. Love it so much. Thank you so much for coming in. How are you? Where are you guys coming in? I am in Boston. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Where are you from? I am in the Boston area, right outside of Boston. And I just wanted to see where you guys were from. North Carolina. Awesome. Nice to see you. I think you've been here before, if I'm not mistaken. I think you have. Yeah, you have Terry. Yeah, I remember you. Hi, Terry. How are you? And in LA. Oh, hi, Jay. Pretty cool name, by the way. Love it. And you are in LA near Nashville. Oh, awesome. I haven't been there. I would love to go. And Jay, you are a fashion creator. That's awesome. And you're in LA. That's great. Oh, awesome. I am glad that you're doing well. Thank you so much. And I'm going to get started in just a minute. Again, Catherine Storing. I scope about style and confidence. If you want to have a chance before we get started and you want to share with your friends, swipe up, swipe right, swipe right, swipe up, share with your friends. However you want to share it, share with your friends. Oh, thank you, honey. Glad. I'm glad you're here. So, I been wanting, oh, thank you for inviting your friends. I appreciate that. Thank you, Jay. If anybody else wants to uh, invite their friends before I get started, that's gonna make it easier so they don't, I don't have to recap all the time. So swipe up, swipe right, swipe up, and share with your friends. Thank you for the hearts, appreciate that. And I have my cool music in the background. It's all fashiony. So why should you step out in style, okay? We're gonna talk about that at the end. I'm gonna tell you why, the reason why you should. But first I'm gonna give you the six hacks, okay? And I know that you have seen people that step out and you can tell because they let everyone know that they're out and they're proud and they love themselves, they love what they're doing, they love their look, and they're not apologizing for that, okay? I was walking into a place today and this guy, he was so funny. He thought he was hilarious. And he looks at me and he's like, oh, uh, do you think you're missing a bracelet? And this, these are my bracelets. And this is not all that I wear, okay? This is just maybe like 75%. And he thought he was hilarious. And I'm like, uh, actually, I am. I said, this is my... Um, my conservative version of it and he couldn't he couldn't even believe it and I just kept on walking smile like nothing happened right right Jay it was just funny because he thought um, he was being very clever but this is who I am you know this is who I am I'm loud I'm proud I wear my color I have my stripes I have stripes and stripes and I love it I'll show you my outfit at, at the end and you'll see what I'm talking about welcome back Jay so it was just funny how he thought he was going to um, crap my style but I had a comeback like right there that is awesome Jay that's awesome so why should you step out how do you do that and the first thing the first hack you have to decide you have to make the decision and say I am going to step out it's not gonna happen until you decide and it's not just saying it it's really making a conscious decision and saying I am gonna step out in style and I'm gonna rock my look and you have to be committed, saying, I am going to step out no matter what. That is the first hack. You have to decide. I'm telling you, it's gonna make a huge difference. 
The second hack is show the real you, okay? You have to be who you are. There's so many people trying to be somebody else, pretending to be somebody else. It's just really sad, really, really sad. Be who you are. You cannot keep being somebody you're not. You know, I was watching a show the other day that I really like, and this girl was dating this guy. They were like in a new relationship. And she was saying how she liked to uh, get up at the crack of dawn and she liked to go hiking and camping. Yeah, absolutely. And they're not. And then her best friend is looking at her and said, when was the last time that you got up early? When did you go hiking last? And she was just pretending to be this person so the guy would like her. And eventually she had to come out and say, hey, I don't like any of those things. The same thing go for style. You have to be yourself, okay? Own it. If you are a bright person, if you like to wear 10,055 bracelets, own it, okay? That's the way it is. If you like to wear bright bright red lipstick, hey, that's okay too. If you wanna if you're gonna wear nude lipstick, that's fine too. Uh own it. Be the real you. That way you don't have to pretend, you don't have to remember what style you're trying to be today. It's gonna be you. And guess what? You being you is the best version of yourself, right? Can I am I right or am I right? Can I have a show of hands? Do you find that it's easier to be yourself trying instead of trying to be somebody else. Can I see a show of hands there? Awesome, yes. Nobody can be you, absolutely. Nobody can be you but you. That's it, only you. All right, so the third hack, awesome. You gotta own it. You have to own it, okay? It is amazing how many people step out and they apologize. They apologize for being who they are. Like if that guy this morning had said something about my bracelets and said, crack that joke, he was just trying to be funny. He was not trying to be hurtful. But he said, hey, do you need one more bracelet? And I looked at myself, I went like that, and I owned it. I'm like, yeah, I love bracelets. This is just who I am. And I kept on walking. And that is what you have to do. That's right, thank you, Jay. You have to own it. If you like to wear plaid shirts, and some people love to wear plaid shirts, don't excuse yourself. Don't say that that's all you had clean. Don't say that um, you usually don't dress like that. You have to own it like a boss. That's right, you have to own it. Step into it. My hair is always, pretty much always like this all the time. Somebody asks me something and they say, hey, how come you don't, you don't wear your hair straight? You know, I'm not gonna say, oh, I was late, I, don't ha I didn't have time today. No, this is my hair. This is how I wear my hair. I own it. No matter where I go, I wear my hair because this is what I like. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, that's right, Jay. If you, even if you're 5'10", there's nothing wrong with that. You have to wear your heels and not apologize. If some little guy comes to you and wants to take you out and you're okay with that, then, you know, that's going to be on him to be okay with your heels. And I see so many people trying to conform and be like everybody else. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, the curls, it, it was a love-hate relationship. I am uh, finally love my curls. Uh, yes. Oh, I love that, Jade. Runway model status. I love that. And that's why we have that runway music there for sure. For sure. That was not a mistake there. You have to own it. Okay. So the first, the first hack was you have to decide to step out in style and really decide and do it. Number two is you have to show the real you. Do not pretend to be like your best friend or your sister or your mother or whoever people want it to be. You have to be yourself. That was the, first, the, the second hack. The third hack was on it. You have to own it and just be who you are. Own it, step out in style, don't worry about it. Number four, it's my favorite. Pay no mind to the nonsense, okay? Pay no mind to the nonsense. Oh, that's awesome, Terry. I am gonna talk about that. Um, and I don't think I've seen you here before. Um, that's awesome. I will talk about that, Brenda, in a little bit. Um, don't let me forget. Pay no mind to the nonsense. There are gonna be so many people being ridiculous, okay? Getting in your face and saying, hey, like, for example, maybe I'll show you my outfit now. I'm wearing stripes with stripes. And so many people think that you shouldn't do that, that you shouldn't mix patterns. Guess what? I'm a stylist. 
I know what I'm doing and it looks good and I love it and I own it like a boss so I pay no mind and it's the same thing for you you might be looking amazing like crazy amazing and there comes somebody and tells you what do you think you're doing who do you think you are you're gonna put your hand in your hips okay and you're gonna say who do I think I am I am all that and a bag of chips that's what you have to say you have to own it like a boss and you just keep on walking do not argue with people when they come with to you with nonsense do not argue with them please don't waste your time it doesn't it's not worth it look at them give them the little flip of the hair if you can put your hand on your hips and keep on walking and rock it rock it out like you're a, like you're a supermodel why not you can be a supermodel my sister tells me all the time why are you walking like that there's no music there's no lights guess what in my head I hear I hear the music I see the lights and I rock it out like a boss I'm not saying that I feel confident all the time but guess what the attitude really helps it really really helps oh that's awesome Jay the world is my wrong way that's awesome that's right when you own it like a boss I'm telling you even when people come to you with nonsense they're gonna stop or they're gonna look ridiculous okay that's the thing they look ridiculous you don't because you are owning it like a boss so that was number four number five and this is probably my most favorite one remember that it's not about you the whole reason why we're stepping out like a boss in style is because you have been called to do something amazing you have a calling I don't know what it is I have a calling and it requires me to step out like a boss well of course I love to step out like a boss but you have a calling I know where my calling is I am very committed to that calling and I will not stop until I succeed until I get there but that requires me to get behind of a camera it requires me to get in front of a lot of people it requires me to sign books which I'm going to do in a couple weeks and I'm super excited about that and that means that I have to represent my brand that means that I gotta get out there because it is not about me Oh, that's right you gotta own it no matter where it's from Jade it's a matter you own it so remember whenever you're feeling down whenever you feel like why should I do this why should I step out why should I do my hair why should I not put those sweatpants on please don't wear sweatpants please 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 don't or if you do do not let me see you it's not about you that's right Terry confidence it's about the people you have been called to serve the people that you have been called to help the people that you're gonna lead if you're gonna lead you have to look like a leader and leaders step out my friend when they stand in front of a crowd they have command they have authority but you have to look like the boss dress the part that's right so you can be the part you have to dress the part first imagine that Superman decided to go save the world in jeans jeans and flip-flops and a little t-shirt he still has the superpowers he's still Superman but when people see him and he comes to the rescue are they gonna take him seriously they're like buddy what are you doing are you phoning it in today no you have to dress the part you have to look the part so you are your own Superman you are your own superwoman and you have to put your outfit on that outfit that lets people know that you're in charge that lets people know that you are all that in a bag of chips okay please 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 remember that the last number six the last hack that I have for you Clark Craig or Superman that's right and they both of them have to dress up for sure Terry the last one you gotta have fun have fun with it okay life is way too short you want to wear plaid with flowers which looks great by the way do it do you want to wear white after Labor Day which I do all the time just to mess with people do it do you want to wear a mini skirt and you have the legs for it go ahead do even if you don't have the legs for it go ahead I give you permission do it okay have fun life is way way too short so many people take life so seriously I'm telling you it doesn't matter have a good time like I was saying earlier today I put stripes with stripes on just because I could 
just because I know it was gonna mess with some people and I like it. So I did it. I'm gonna show you. Should I? Yes, I will. Dr. Simmons makes me take off my superwoman cape during church service though. Hey, that's okay. That's because you know, that's a different story though, because you're supposed to not be superwoman and take care of everything, but you can look like her though. You don't have to act like her, but you sure can look like her for sure. And look, that's Dr. Sims right there. His ears must have been uh, super red right now. So we're talking about the six hacks to step out in style like a boss. And I'm just gonna show you my outfit now to show you that you can have fun and you can mix patterns. It's totally okay. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? Boss moves, that's right. So, let's see if I can do this so you can see my outfit without messing things up here. So I have a cute little skirt. Let's see if you can see my little top. And it's stripes and stripes. And guess what? I love it. There's nothing wrong with that. So, mix your patterns. There's nothing wrong with that. Have fun, okay? Have fun. It's totally okay. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I mix my prints all the time all the time and guess what the world did not end the, the fashion police did not step out of the bushes and said hey Catherine what are you doing you cannot mix uh, prints and hey you're not 20 anymore you shouldn't wear a cute little short skirt I'm having fun it's totally okay you can have fun too so real quick again my name is Catherine story if you haven't seen me before Make sure that you follow me on Twitter at Style Storing, the same name that you found me here on Periscope. And I scope about style and confidence. And for those that just joined us, I'm gonna recap super duper quick. So if you wanna watch again, watch the replay. The six hacks to step out in style like a boss. Decide to do it and do it. Oh, thank you, Terry, you're so sweet. Show the real you, do not pretend. Stop pretending, be who you are 110%. Number three, on it, on it like a boss. It doesn't matter what kind of shoes am I wearing. I have no shoes on right now. <laughs> I don't wear shoes in the house. If I could be barefooted all the time, I would, but I have really cute um, gold sandals, the word to die for, by the way, but they're upstairs right now. But yes, that's what I had on today. Uh, pay no mind to the nonsense. There are gonna be people telling you that you look ridiculous. There are gonna be people telling you that you shouldn't wear that. It doesn't matter. They're, do they pay your rent? They don't. Do they support you? Do they pay your bills? No, they don't. So, whatever they say, remember what I said? Hand on your hips, flip your hair and say, hey, this is my runway, I do what I want. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch. That was number four. And number five, which is really one of my favorite jealous people, for sure. Remember, it's not about you. You have to step out in style because you are called to do something amazing. You are called to help people. You are called to be a leader. And leaders have to look like leaders, okay? And the last one, which is my favorite, have fun. Just have fun. Be yourself. Have a lot of fun. Have fun. Life is short. It's okay. Oh, that's funny. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. If you just look at them and they see that you're having fun and that they did not ruin your day, it's, their day is going to be ruined because they're going to realize that they cannot mess with you and that's the whole point do not listen to them so those are my six hacks so you can step out in style like a boss and i hope that you do that like tomorrow i want to see you stepping out i want to see you saying hey this is me the real me take it or leave it and guess what they're not going to leave it because you are fantastic. You are amazing and you are beautiful and more handsome than you can ever imagine. And you have to believe that before anybody else believes that, you have to believe that you are super awesome. You have to believe that everything you say is awesome. You have to believe that you were put here for a reason, with a purpose, for a purpose. And that purpose requires you, okay? Requires you to look amazing okay so please my friends if you do anything for me step out in style like a boss and watch your life change watch how things change for you people will notice you you're gonna get more business you're gonna get that job okay you're gonna get promoted oh thank you thank you so much you guys are amazing thank you so much for watching thank you thank you thank you in my Billy Crystal voice I'm gonna have to hear that Dr. Sims that sounds awesome Thank you for watching and I'll be back 
soon with another scope. Uh, in the meantime, please, 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 please stay fabulous. If you want to watch more videos, go to stylingfaith.com. I have about 200 videos there, so you can be there for a long time and get yourself looking fabulous. Bye, Terry. Thank you, guys. Oh, there we go. I'm Terry. Um, sorry, Brenda. I almost left. Thank you so much for reminding me. You are so awesome. Okay, so I was almost about to close. I'm so sorry. Uh, Brenda asked me how you stop comparing yourself with other people and how do you enjoy and embrace the body that God gave you? That is a great question. I love that question because I had to deal with that. So Brenda, you probably are new to me and um, I am a stylist because I was my first client, okay? And Jay, thank you for coming back. Brenda got me back, so I didn't close. She, she's asking me, how do you deal with not comparing yourself with others? How do you enjoy and embrace the body that God gave you? Oh yeah, no worries. And the way that you do that is, doing that exactly you have to realize that you're fearfully and wonderfully made that everything about you was created on purpose do you know that god knows how many hairs you have in your head and imagine me i have like millions look at that there's like every ringlet is like thousands of hairs he knows how many hairs you have in your head okay he created you he need you in your mother's womb. He knew exactly what you're gonna go through, who you were going to meet, who you were going to help. So he created you. So your body really is what you're going to use to help people. Everything about you, it's on purpose. So when you say that you hate your arms, that you hate your legs, that you hate your hair or your nose, whatever it is, you're telling God that he made a mistake. You're telling the creator the perfect creator of the entire universe, that he made a mistake when he made your legs that way or your arms that way. Please know there is nothing wrong with you. If anybody tells you that, you better tell them. Send them my way. But before you that, tell them, hey, I am fearfully and wonderfully made and all the works that God makes are wonderful. This I know very well okay that is Psalm 139 14 please commit that to memory whenever you're feeling down whenever you're feeling like hey I'm not pretty enough if you had a child your body's going to change I have a daughter my body's not the same but guess what I gave life okay it's a miracle of life it's okay to not be perfect if anybody wants you to be perfect that person does not belong in your life remember that and that is why I wrote my second book styling faith the complete style guide and I go over it's part memoir and part um, style guide because I needed to share with people they see you and they think that everything is great they think that you always look that way and that is not the case if you go to my website, stylingfaith.com, you're going to see pictures, you're going to hear my story, you're going to see my story or read it and realize that I was bullied when I was growing up because I was too skinny. And there is such a thing. I was too tall. I was too skinny. My hair was too curly. So for half of my life, I had no self-esteem. I had no confidence. And I didn't even know that I was beautiful. I did not know that I was fearfully and wonderfully made. Oh my God, Jay, guys, that's amazing. Jay and uh, Jay, that is insane. It is amazing. Hi, how are you, honey? Nice to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. It's amazing how many people, um, Jolene, how many people go through this. You get bullied for whatever reason. It's, it's not only people that are heavy, okay, or people of color or people that look different. It doesn't matter. People that are jealous are going to pick on you no matter what so please remember whose you are you have to remember that you were created for a reason with a purpose and imagine if i hadn't if i didn't look the way i look i wouldn't have the heart i wouldn't i wouldn't have the desire to help other ladies to look good from the inside out i wouldn't have the sensitivity to say you are beautiful you are created for a reason with a reason i wouldn't be able to do that but because i went through that i am able to say i know exactly how you feel because i went through it okay so i hope that helps you brenda hi shirley how are you i hope that helps you and i hope you realize okay 
that whatever happened, if you gain weight, if you lost weight, if you had a child, if you have five kids and your body's messed up, hey, I know all about that. It's okay. It's okay. The people that God has designed to be in your life, the man that God has designed for you is going to see you. It's going to really see you because all of this is temporary. All of this comes and goes. It's not about that. It's about what is on the inside. Okay? It's about what's on the inside. Please remember that. Anybody come to you. Remember that, that the, the, the fourth, the four hack was pay no mind to the nonsense. Anyone that is picking on you, anyone that is telling you, Oh, that's right. We are passing through. Anyone that's telling you that there's something wrong with your body, and there are people that are going to tell you that, they have no self-esteem. It's not about you. It's about them. Anybody that takes, takes the time to criticize you and put you down, honey, they are dealing with so much stuff that you cannot even imagine. So just pray for them and say, you know what? I am so sorry for you. Because I am beautiful. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And there's nothing that you can do that's going to take me down. And guess what? I am so fearfully and wonderfully made that Jesus Christ died in the cross for me. Okay? That's how amazing I am. So they might not understand that, but that is the truth. They might not get it, but you know it's the truth. And you know that it's awesome. And you know that it happened. That he did die for you because he loves you that much. So do not look at your body and do not look at the flaws, okay? Look at the beauty. Look at the price that someone paid for you. A fine price, the highest price anybody can pay. So it took, I don't know why, you're very welcome, Brenda. It went into another direction and that's okay. I'm a preacher's daughter. That's what happens. I'm glad that he did. Thank you for asking the question. It was my pleasure. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions, let me know. If not, we can close it down. Hey, Love on Fire. Haven't seen you in a while. How are you? We've been here for a little bit. And, um, oh, that's another Love on Fire. I haven't seen you before. That is awesome. Yeah, I thought I'd follow you before. Maybe you changed your picture or something. How are you? I thought I was following you before. Sorry about that. Nice to see you, my friend. Watch the replay because we share some amazing hacks. I've been here for a while, and I know Dr. Simpson is going to go live very soon. Uh, awesome. Cool. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying here. Please stay beautiful. Please stay pouting style. You own that to yourself and you own to the world. They have to see how amazing and how beautiful you are. You are A-OK -okay in my book. You are beautiful, 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 beautiful. Like a boss, that's right. Step out in style, like a boss. Like, is there any other way? Is there any other way to stay out? Have an amazing evening. And I would see you very soon. Thank you, Jade. Yeah, gotta own it. We gotta own it. Thank you.